everyone! So I've been holding off on filming another video for a while now because we've had some pretty rotten weather and I'm fully reliant on the weather outside for my lighting so since we've had such horrible weather I haven't been filming. But I bit the bullet today and I've decided I'm going to film regardless of it being rainy and pouring outside so here I am in semi-okay lighting I think. Probably not but I'm filming and you're gonna see a video regardless of icky weather. If you haven't already guessed what this video is going to be about, then I suggest you rewind and then rewatch from the start. Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I like guinea pigs. Insanely so. So much so that I have eight! You've seen the first four that live in my room. I'm going to show you the other four that live in my brother's room. Let's do a roll call! This is Carrot. She likes to talk a lot. This is Toffee, my little love love. This is Marshmallow. I called her Marshmallow because she is white like a marshmallow. So cute. This is Marshmallow's son, S'mores. I call him S'mores because he's got like these two stripes of brown and then the white in the middle so it kind of looks like a graham cracker with a marshmallow in between. This is Caramel. She lives in my brother's room. Oh, it's okay. It's just a camera. A twin balloon. So cute. This is Chip. She doesn't quite like people so much, so this is the only time you're gonna get to see her, probably ever. No, you just don't like people. But you're totally okay if I sit down and watch TV with you. This is Pepper. I call her Pepper because she's black. She's got this little spot of brown here, so she's like little pepper kernel. We adopted her. She doesn't get along with any of the other guinea pigs except for the two boys that we have. Last but not least, this is Peanut. He is our other male. He is also the biggest guinea pig I have. He's so fat. Not so fat, but bud. You love to eat. I know you love to eat. So you're probably all asking me, why did you think it was a good idea to have eight guinea pigs? First off, I didn't think it was a good idea. We got four guinea pigs because of a circumstance that was out of our control. One Christmas, my cousins, aunt and uncle decided to get them two guinea pigs. One of those guinea pigs ended up being pregnant and gave birth to two more. And then same Christmas, my youngest cousin found out that he was allergic to pretty much all animals on the face of this planet. And not just mildly allergic, severely allergic, he touched them and he just break out in hives all over his body. It was really scary to watch sometimes. So my aunt asked my mom if we could possibly take the guinea pigs so that our cousins when they visit could at least see their piggies every now and then. It was either that option or splitting up the entire four. So we decided to take all four of them. And at that time we already had four of our own. Marshmallow who had her son s'mores and then Toffee and Pepper. Why do I enjoy guinea pigs so much? Probably because they're super cute. Really, really cute. So cute. And they're also good social pets. They live nicely together in groups, two, three, if you want. Eight is pushing it. It's a little too much. <laughs> they are expensive, very expensive. Where food is concerned, we have to give them lettuce twice a day, in the morning, in the evening, and then we rain a plethora of goodies out through the day on them as snacks. They, they get fed a lot at my house, which probably explains why. This one is so fat. So fat. Just so chubby. Okay, buddy. Okay, I know. Okay. You don't care. My mama put me away. Pull me away. Look, it's you, bud bud. It's you. So those are my guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are definitely undervalued as a pet. They are not hamsters. This is not a hamster. Every time I look at him, I hear that song that goes shake that thing, na 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 shake that thing, that song, every time. 